Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha and in this video I will show you 5 famous drop D riffs and how to play them. So if you're one of the few guitar players out there who doesn't know what the drop D tuning is, here's a quick explanation. So to get into the drop D tuning you have to tune your lowest string, the E string, one full step down to D. One of the benefits of this tuning, or of all drop tunings, is that you can play power chords with one finger on one fret. That can be very useful, especially for beginners. And for sure, in drop tunings your playing always sounds kind of heavy. So let's move on to the five riffs I have for you. I will first play the riff, then I will give a quick explanation what's happening there and then I will play it again slowly and I will also show the taps on screen. So let's start with the first riff which is from the song Outshine by Soundgarden. <laughs> So this riff is played only on two strings, so it's pretty easy to play. On the beginning we have some palm muting and at one part we need a little vibrato on the A string. The next riff is from the song Everlong by Foo Fighters. So on this riff we have a more clean guitar sound and we play standard power chords on the A and D string and we add the low E string or in this case the low D string to get a major 7 sound on the first chord and on the other two chords we get a sus2 voicing. The next riff is from the song Schism by Tool. So this riff is really just a short part from the song and it's pretty tight and heavy. It is played on two strings and we have some muted strumming and a pretty cool hammer-on lick on the ending. The next riff is from the song Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana. So on this riff we have a more clean sound again and we don't have any heavy power chords in here 
So just single notes and it's pretty easy to play. So the next riff is from the song Kashmir by Led Zeppelin. So this riff is really a classic and it has this cool chromatic change in it. For beginners it's maybe not the easiest song to learn, but when you get it it's just a lot of fun to play. Alright, that were 5 famous guitar riffs in the drop D tuning and how to play them. If you want to download the guitar tabs for each riff, then check out my Patreon page, I have a link down in the video description. So if you enjoyed this kind of videos, please let me know down in the comments, so maybe I could do a part 2 of that. Alright, that was it for today's video, please make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.